lovelies, welcome back to my channel and another video. We have spent the last 10 days in Grand Canary and I haven't picked up the vlog camera once. We've just switched off from life completely. But I was like, it would be rude not to do a super long vlog of like our weekend. It's Friday just now. And we'll do like a lovely weekend vlog of our time here. Gloria Palace is our favourite hotel. We're staying at Gloria Palace Amadores. Shock horror, no shock, because it's our favourite hotel in the world. We are just having the most relaxed time. The weather has been incredible. We've never stayed in January before. We usually always stay in like November or December, or we have come in the past in September, but obviously now we cannot travel in September. We always have to do it in the winter months because of work. So we've come in the in the winter months and it's so warm yesterday we had 31 degrees today it is absolutely boiling i don't know why my face in this lighting looks lighter than my neck but it's because it's probably very red it's so hot today they've got like a bit of a a mist over the sea so it's it makes you think that it's not as hot as it is and i've been sat out for way too long lou went down to the bar and got us a pina colada and he got himself i think he got himself a gin and fanta lemon um i will do a room tour tomorrow um but yeah it's the same room we stayed in last year it's the pool view room and you get your own little private pool and it's just so peaceful and relaxing hello lou hello. say hi to the vloggers hello. <laughs> He's behind the camera. We'll do a we'll do a, a, a switch. So here we are. Here is the pool. Super cool. Um, we just absolutely love these rooms, and we would not stay anywhere else. So we've had our little setup. I had my Lilo. I've had a Lilo this year. The first two years we stayed at Gloria Palace. Lou, no one really had Lilos, did they outside? Not last year. This year. No. Yeah. It's like no one had Lilos last year, but this year everyone has lilos like we keep getting other people's lilos floating into our room it's not a problem or anything we actually quite like it because we're like come on the lilos so pina colada um so yeah we've been loving it so first of all one night we got a it was like the first week we arrived it was the first week we arrived that i bought this beautiful pink lilo from one of the local shops and we woke up, it was like a very windy day that day. We woke up the next day and the lilo was no more. Then we saw it in the reflection of the other room next to us. And I think it had gone into their pool and they were going to return it, but they never did. Dun, dun, dun. But it's all good because I, me and Lou walked the next morning and we got another lilo and I'm obsessed with it. I'll show you. Drink of choice this holiday has been a pina colada. Cheers drink of choice was a... Uh, gin and fanta lemon this is this lila this year but this year the gin and fanta lemons have been very strong this lilo i'm rating it a strong do you know what i'm rating this one a seven out of ten because the other one did float better um yeah this is the view it's absolutely stunning but can you see there's like a thick like kind of sea mist it's boiling though like it's it's very humid very muggy but yeah obsessed with the view but i think we're going to go and get some lunch now let's see what lou's thinking lou what are you thinking then shall we go for some some lunch uh -huh. i'm gonna order you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i'm gonna order a salami pizza or a ham and mushroom pizza that's my go-to this is all part of the all-inclusive plan so you can go to the top bar between i think it's like half 12 and six o'clock so it's really good and you can get like pizzas you can get burgers hot dogs toasties it's really good so um i'm gonna get a pizza i think i go between the salami and the ham and mushroom one every single day and lou usually goes for the burger i do get that some days as well it's very good anyway i'll catch you all there and i'll show you what we get i am absolutely starving and lou is taking too long to get ready so i'm heading up to the top pool bar I'm gonna get Lou's gonna get a gin and well, I'm gonna order him gin and fanta lemon and I'm gonna have a pina colada. So we're gonna head up there just now um, and get some food. I am absolutely starving. So let's go. It's a corridor for the pool rooms and it is so long and dark. It's like quite scary when you're by yourself, but not in the daytime. At night time, Lou always goes down for a drink before me, and then it's a, it's a, just in case anyone's there. It 
is, and then there's three different lifts. So let's see who comes first. <laughs> Got my little sparkly sandals on, my Levi denim shorts, which I actually got from Vinted like two years ago, but they are such nice shorts. My little Christine Dior belt and a little swimming costume. And then I've brought this like black sh like shirt just to put over my shoulders in case it gets too hot. The lift is open and we are going to the top bit. I feel like I just saw every single floor on that lift there. So we're nearly at the rooftop bar. We literally did every floor there, but we're nearly there, so let's go. Top floor. So as you walk out, you've got the most beautiful views. Every single floor of the hotel, you've got sea views. But today, it's got this kind of like thick sea mist. I'm probably calling it the wrong thing, but it's stunning. So let's go see if we can find a lovely little table for me and Lou to sit at. I am so hungry. Let's see, is there any available tables? I can see one, I'm going for it. How are you today? Good. Yeah. Um, could I please have um, a Fanta, a gin and Fanta lemon, please? Could we have it in the big cup, the the bigger glass? Thank you. Um, and could I get a pina colada as well, please? And two still waters, please. Just two waters. Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is the menu here, this is the rooftop bar menu and then at lunchtime they also have the all-inclusive where you can go and just pick whatever you would like but we do like sitting down at lunchtime so for the all-inclusive you've got like all the bits with the stars on them are part of the all-inclusive and then they've got like a different type of menu that if you want to pay any more and like add it to your room then you can and Lou's done that a couple of times where he's had like a chicken salad or something like that um, but I do really enjoy their pizza so I've just been having the pizza there is such a good menu really you've got like chicken salads you've got i said that already harriet just loads of different bits and then you've got the pizzas so you can get like all the different types of pizzas and if you aren't part of the all-inclusive they are about eight the 820 euros and ranging between that and nine um you can sort of see all the prices there and then you've got like the bit at the top where you've got like your french fries hamburgers hot dogs yeah it's really good and then you've got this beautiful view while you're eating. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Food arrived and I started eating it before I even clicked the camera. But here we are, we've got pizza salami. Oh my gosh, it's the nicest, cheesiest pizza. We've got portions of chips. Lou had a cheeseburger. <laughs> Lovely. So we've just arrived at the next bar in the hotel and we have been attacked with face paint. If the stripe on my nose was straight, I'd give it a strong 10 out of 10, but it makes my face look a bit odd. <laughs> So there is no sunset guys because, Lee, what's happened? The Sahara, there is a sunset, I'll turn it around. 
is a Sahara Desert storm, which has meant that there's no sunset tonight. And it's just like sandy. I mean, we felt it coming in this afternoon because it was like, but over the last three years of country bank and I, every single time we've always had Sahara Desert storm. It's like, it's like disorientating because it should be going dark right now, but it's just sand. And we've had our face painted. How disorientating not having the sunset. It's like a thick. I will insert a clip. I'm going to insert a clip. It might be in the wrong format for this of what the sunsets have been looking like. I'm just saying to the, to everyone on YouTube, Lou. I am. I'm just saying to everyone on YouTube. I'm gonna add a clip of what the sunset actually looks like because I was like, this is our beautiful <laughs> pool, and then it's like this thick. Yeah, it's actually very. It's actually warmer here than it is. It's probably about what would you say, 19, 20 degrees right now. But this has definitely made it a little bit colder. So cool. Some little child has dropped their toy because the biggest, the big pool's like right at the top, and they've dropped their toy down, and it's literally. I keep kicking it into the water, and Luke keeps picking it back up. <laughs> it's just stayed there with us like all week. One thing, so the Sahara Desert is still very much here, but it's very muggy today, which is quite nice. I think we'll make take a couple of dips in the pool. We're both a little bit dehydrated. I'm gonna pop down to the shop and get, can you see me? Oh, so bright. I'm gonna pop down to the shop. There's like a little shop on site and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I don't know if it'll be open because it is a Sunday. Blue, do you think the shop will be open today with it been a Sunday? Do you think it, I don't know, it might be. Anyway. Is it loaded? Anyway, I've got the room key and I'll pick up some water on the way back. Can I need my lippy bag? For, for lunch, I'll do this. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna eat the all inclusive or anything like that. Yeah. I'll eat that salami. Oh yeah. Well, I'll have a look in the shop for bread. So, we're heading to the shop. Let's see. I need to get toothpaste. Annoyingly, we ran out last night. And then today, obviously, we've just got the two days left. So it's a bit annoying because I'm gonna have to buy a new toothpaste when it's not gonna be brought back to the UK with us. I don't like waste. Well, I could take it back with us, but I think that the my luggage is going to be just on the bare minimum. The lifts must be so busy this morning. I've been waiting like two minutes for a lift now. So we'll see. You can see them coming like both the lifts. The number's changing. Is it coming down to me? I think this one is. Off to reception we go. And I've got an empty lift until somebody clicks a button and we get stopped. Are we going to get stopped? Are we going to make it? to reception without getting stopped. No. It's a straight run. Woohoo! So this is the hotel reception area. It's quite nice, you can sit up here on an evening and then you've got like all your evening entertainment down here. Let me show you. It's amazing, it's like all outside in, so in the evening you can sit outside as well. Super cool, you've got the bar down there and then the big stage at the back here. The Christmas decorations are still up, it's so lovely. Look how beautiful the Christmas tree is. The effort they go to is insane.
and then you've got another bar up here which is open in the night time i think it's open from three o'clock so pretty this one is so busy on an evening it's like a sports bar so they've got like they play sports on the big screen i think the shop is open too i've just spotted they've got a little shop here with like handbags and lots of different little bits which is super cool lots of little um dupes and then they've got a pharmacy here which is good and a little kind of i've never actually been in this one but this one's look like jewelry and things like that but the one we want to go to is this one here which has got like snacks and sun cream and stuff so this is the reception area over here and they've got a lovely piano and some nights they do have like music here which is so lovely and more seats and reception so then when you leave the reception you've got the first pool here which is so beautiful it's just like got the infinity pool where you go have the endless sort of sea view you can kind of see the sun trying to break through the clouds today and then you've got a lovely bar down here which me and Lou honestly love the entertainment is flipping amazing um there's a guy called connor who runs the entertainment um there's always a laugh it's always good fun and so there's loads of tables down here we love sitting down here there's like music from 3 p.m it's really good and then you've got a quiet bar which you saw yesterday and there's like a little kids bit over there as well and more rooms every single room is a sea view room so it's beautiful no matter what room you book it's all sea view my lift has arrived take me down to room seven so in the shop we secured chewing gum <laughs> we have got a little bit of toothpaste left for this morning but we secured chewing gum and some cheese and onion crisps um, and then i think lou's gonna get a shower he was meant to get a shower while i'm out and we're gonna go head up to the top bar which we were at yesterday get a couple of drinks water preferably oh someone's coming in the lift oh no they're not preferably water and then maybe i might get a pizza last year on this trip i had breakfast last year on this trip i had breakfast nearly every single day but this year i just haven't because i didn't want to irritate my stomach too much so i've been having it like once every three or four days so I haven't had breakfast that much this trip, but I've made up for it because I've been eating pizzas, burgers, everything you can imagine I've been eating. So yeah, heading back to the room just now. Let's see if he's ready. Strawberry daiquiri. Bingo time. I've got an extra card for luck. You usually get one card. Who needs pens? One eleven. <laughs> 11. By 353, All the sixes, 66, the six Six and six and six and six. So I'm six, six and six. We've got a double whammy bingo again. Fimba from Cork. That shake up did nothing. And this lady over here. What's your name? Lynn from McDonald's takeaway on our last night, isn't it, Lou? So guys, we are currently sat at reception. We're just checking out, back in my fitness gear, uh, <laughs> cozies for the flight. We're, we've had honestly the best time here. I didn't pick up the camera too much, but I thought I need to vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little snippets of the last few days of our holiday. Um, we've just had the most peaceful, relaxing time and I just switched off for the first time in a long time. I actually slept without waking up panicking about life. Um, so it's been really nice. I've read books. It's just been so peaceful. I love the fact they've still got the Christmas tree up and it's like the middle of January. Like that's iconic. The 
the Christmas tree is still up. But yeah, we've had the best holiday ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. And let's have a cheer mark in the comments. I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and New Year, whatever you were up to. Um, we had a super quiet one and we just had a fun few weeks in Grand Canary. It's been so much fun. Um, I just can't believe the Christmas tree is up. They give it the the full thing here like I feel like in the UK when the first hits everything's down Christmas trees decorations everything's gone not here it's still up in the middle of January I love it anyway thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all real soon my next video look how beautiful it is it's actually easy to leave this morning because there's like there's still the sandstorm I think it's called a sandstorm I probably said it wrong but